It took me about 30 seconds of using this to get it stuck in a hole. All right, so let's do a quick walk around of, let's say, version one. Just a Craftsman push mower. This thing's about six years old. We've got two 24 volt power chair motors. I got a car battery, which is 12 volts. So these motors actually run slower than they would. This battery I took out of a truck that's been sitting for the last two years. So it's not the greatest. I do plan on converting this to 24 volts. I'm gonna just get two smaller 12 volt batteries because I'm going to need to replace this anyway. It seems a little underpowered, but I think it's just the 12 volts. Now, I don't know if the 24 volts, does that just add speed or will it also add more torque? Because there's no point in spending the money on the extra battery if it only increases the speed but doesn't increase the torque of the motors. It'll just make the wheel spin. The battery is only to run the motors and then the engine is to mow the grass. So I still have to do the pull start. If I build a nicer one, I definitely want to go with the electric start from the remote. Have an alternator on it to keep the battery charged. This mower was self-propelled at the front wheels, so I had the belt already here. I do have this alternator running backwards, but it's still charging. This is a clockwise alternator, which I think 95% of them are from my understanding. I should have ordered a one wire, but didn't know, kind of just figuring it out as I go, like with everything. So I ended up getting a conversion kit. Uh, I do have it grounded to the frame. I believe this is for either like dummy light or maybe a voltage meter. I'm not real sure, but I don't need it to charge the battery. So I just kind of threw it right here with a zip tie just to keep it from getting down into the fan of the alternator. Uh, everything's kind of temporary for now. Uh, this just runs straight to the battery and it does charge. I've tested it with a voltmeter. Over here, I've just got the battery grounded to the frame. Uh, right now, it's got a little bungee cord. These push mowers typically on the push handle has the bar when you let go, it shuts the motor off. I wanna say it's a flywheel brake, but it's a brake that locks down. I'm pretty sure it's the flywheel. I just disconnected the flywheel brake so they have a way to shut it off. So all I did was this switch is grounded to the frame here and it runs, it runs into the switch and down to the coil for the spark plug, which is under here. And basically all it does is it grounds and kills the spark, which shuts the mower off. And that's how you kill this mower. This is kind of temporary. This came off of an old camper. Super basic, inline fuse. Now I did the fuse coming from the battery to the motor driver. This is what controls the two motors. Most people I've seen use the Sabertooth 2x32. This is whatever half the cost of the Sabertooth 2x32 on Amazon. This is the receiver for the remote. Here's my transmitter. It is running, it's cutting grass, but it got a few issues with the build. You kind of don't know until you know. These wheels right here, are super slick. These came off of the wheelchair, which I'm still missing the nuts. I don't have any idea what I did with the nuts. I need to find something a little knobbier. I should have built this frame up a lot taller to get more travel for cutting uh, thicker stuff. If everything works out, I'm gonna build a hydrostatic mower with tracks. Pretty simple. Just cut it on and... And there it is. It only takes one stick here to run it.
So this is like version one. I don't have a push mower anymore. I guess I'm gonna have to buy another one. First modification to this already that I can see that I need, I didn't think about is a kill switch on the power that goes to the motor driver. Even with the remote turned off, there's a green LED that's on down here. And so this thing has still got juice, it's still hot, and I don't want it to cook this thing or mess it up or kill the battery while it's uh, sitting in my shop, not in use. I guess for now I'll just disconnect it. I have a really long detailed build video, it's gonna take a while to edit. All right, well, let me know what you think. I hope this helps somebody out, gives somebody some ideas. I'll catch you on the next one.